late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama, while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve! <laughs> Do you all see? I can't go! I can't follow! So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles! Only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! I still need to save Vignier. Her promise! We made a promise! Vignier! Vignier! Please, Vignier, don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler. Please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea, and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case with the truth revealed to all. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is guilty. Guards, take Varche away. Good. 
It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? <sighs> Demoiselle, you are absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now. Knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula's still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... guilty. What?! Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards! Please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. Hmm. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Hey, Mo 
Monsieur Nouvellette? What's going on? Shouldn't they have been clear already? Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Uh, why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! I, I don't know what happened there either! Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either? But that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> Ahem. My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment! If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? Uh... So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm... She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff, so he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Traveler! Hey! Traveler! Ah! Marcel! What are you doing over here? Stop resisting arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list! No, 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 wait! I, I just want to ask the Traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, 
Unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up, you've already been convicted. Uh, really? Y you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? The Fountain of Lucene? Then... Then she's been so close to me all along! And I just never... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the Traveler take me to the Fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Hmm. Paimon agrees. Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that... I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. <sighs> in that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs>